Hello everyone, this is Colonel coming to you with my first instructional video. Today we're going to be talking about how to beat Atheon on hard. I'm going to peek out around the corner and just take a couple shots at Atheon because I like to stick my neck out like that. Um, it doesn't really do any damage. You'll see my critical hit only does 2,000. Uh, if I was to not have the relic, my critical hit from inside the bubble would be over 19,000. So uh, on my right there, you'll see the teleporter for Venus, and one of the guys is standing inside the pad waiting for the teleport. Uh, if you wind up not being teleported, you'll be stuck on, you want to get up high off the ground so the supplicants can't blow you up. Uh, you take them out and just basically keep the teleporter open for the guys inside. I hold the blue button when I'm being teleported because if I get landed I like to have the relic myself. Uh, this is Mars so you'll call out to everyone that uh, you know the enemies or that the enemy launched you to Mars and that's where they need to get you back from. Uh, with the relic you'll run down the hill, eliminate all the enemies as you saw I just did and your teammates will be shooting the oracles which you'll see will pop up here in sequence. Um, they want to try and take them down in sequence, work together as a team, because if one is along too live, it will cause a wipe of the entire game, and you'll have to restart. Um, <clears throat> here, I'm basically sticking with them. You want to make sure to tell your guys to stay together, because if they're together, you can cleanse them both at once, and that way no one gets lost in the void. The void is just a blackening of your screen that won't allow you to leave. Uh, or see anything. And there you see I came out, I went to the center pad, and at this point I am counting off the times vengeance that you see on my screen. Since I don't have to aim or anything, that's the best thing I can focus on. My teammates are all strictly focusing on Atheon, not worrying about the time, trusting me to tell them it's time to go, which I'm telling them right now. Three, two, we need to leave. So at this point one of our titans pop pops a bubble in the back and we're all safe. Then we're teleported again. Here we go with the relic. We're on Mars once again. I'm going to run down and take out the enemies, and my teammates are going to start working on the oracles. Meanwhile, the people outside are constantly killing supplicants on both sides of the map to keep them trimmed. There's another cleanse. You do the cleanse with the left bumper. I attack the enemies with the right trigger and the right bumper. <clears throat> um, the people on the outside need to be taking down the supplicants as fast as possible and make sure they get as many as they can so when you're leaving the pad in the middle you're not launching yourself to death. Uh, here my team is doing a pretty good job. They're sticking together. They're staying right with me and I'm able to cleanse them on the move and this time I'm actually going to make the pad with a good bit of time over 20 seconds. Weapons a light bubble in the back to help everybody get a little extra damage and then everybody's in here counting on me once again to give them the time 15 seconds and then 10 when it gets here. Uh, basically if you trust each other and move as a unit it's a lot easier to drop him in just a couple of shots. Um, as you'll see here we just took three swings at it and he goes down like a champ. We got one more to go. Uh, back into the bubble for protection. Everybody's working on supplicants. I get teleported. The relic again. Uh, if you have a good consistent consistent relic runner in the group, you can even lose one or two players and still make it. You just may have to take a couple extra trips through the teleporter. Um, and you'll see here that uh, even though I am the relic holder, I can have the relic on the ground for a few moments and still be an effective member of the team. So see these guys, they have a couple spawning ahead of them and I didn't like it. So I cleansed them and then I dropped the relic for a second and I do some damage to a couple of oracles with a pretty good oracle killing weapon and pick the relic back up before everyone dies, cleanse my team again and move on. And now we're all gonna walk out of here and finish this in the first swing which is always handy. Um, so now once again it was Mars, so we're gonna come out and go to the left and we're going to cleanse and allow everyone to put the final shots on Atheon. Uh, that's pretty much the way you run it front to back self-resurrection is handy as you can see right there for my buddy Trigger and uh, some black hammers and ice breakers will make it happen really quick um, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope it helps you and your team move forward and uh, get that finish if you're ever ha online and having trouble with this system you can always uh, find me and give me a message I'd be happy to come and run with anybody I uh, do this all the time so good luck and uh, have a nice day.